Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is a bit of a different video as we take a step back and reflect on my journey running a thousand kilometers so far and the lessons I've learned along the way. So sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. The main thing I learned over the kilometers is that running in itself is easy. All you need is a pair of trainers, some running gear and off you go. Step outside and start running. That's probably one of the things that first got me into the sport. So whilst in lockdown a few years back, all the gyms and sports were, weren't really available. So I thought I'll give this running thing a go. Anyone can run. Seriously, even if you think you can't, just put on some trainers, step outside and get your legs moving. Even if you're jogging slowly and you see people past you, just don't worry about that. Everyone has their own pace or fitness level and therefore there will always be people that pass you. There will also always be people that you pass along the way and get a small ego boost from that. One of the best feelings you have as a runner is something you might have heard of called the runner's high and it's that feeling of being in complete automatic control of the run where you don't even know you're running, you just let your head float and before you know it, you reach your finish line. For me, this is one of the best feelings I have. And for me, this is a little shivering feeling I get throughout my body when I'm in that complete motion, going fast at a nice pace and my whole body feels good. And when you zone out, you think, you think to yourself, damn, I'm really doing this. Whilst you're running, you may also notice yourself in mirrors and look at yourself and be like, damn, I look good. Because running is amazing. Anyone can do it. And I think that's what connects all the runners around the world. Even if you go for a minute or an hour run, it doesn't matter. The starting line is the same for everyone across the world. And that's what connects us as runners. Whatever feels good for you is the correct run for you, not anyone else. So don't worry about that. And as I said, for every runner, even if this is your first run or your hundredth run, the starting line is the same for everyone. Running is freedom and I dare you to give it a try. The second part is that running is that it's a mental game. The most difficult part about running isn't the muscle pain or the breathing problems. It's getting your mind in the right place. This is because your mind will always give up before your body does. To protect itself, it's a natural reaction. However, over the years, as I've been running with myself and others, when you stop and you, you say to yourself, I can't go anymore, there is always that bit more you can go. When you stop, I always say to myself, can I go that extra five meters? And I say that to others that I run with and they most likely can. We set that barrier in ourselves, in our head, that we can't go anymore, but physically we can. And it's getting that right, your mind in the right place to be able to say to yourself, yes, I can keep going, and that's the best part. So the problems of muscle pain or breathing, that can be worked on over time, and it can be easily adjusted. As long as firstly you focus on your mind and put your, and put your mental game in the right place to be able to progress over time. As after one run, you won't see any improvement, obviously and it's the same with anything else in your life. However, if you dedicate yourself to running every day and seeing that improvement over time, you will get there in the end. And that is something running teaches you that is very important. During the run, there may become a period where you're struggling. And this is the most important part because that moment dictates how much you can give from yourself, how deep can you dig inside yourself to able to keep going and run for that extra minute or a few meters. And that just builds resilience and strengthens your mind that can be applied to all areas of your life really. During my guided runs, sometimes the coach asks to forget about the running and just focus on the breathing, 200 meters or whatever. And in that, all I do is focus on my inhale and exhale. And before I know it, I've forgotten that I'm running altogether. My, my mind is completely off the running and it's just become automatic. Running gives you that mind control over your own body and shows that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything and therefore become a better version of yourself. So although with running, you will get physically fit, you'll get, you'll get muscle and you'll get used to the action of running and increase your VOG max or whatever. But for me, the main thing is that you're training your mind to be able to be resilient and persistent in the goal that you've set yourself and therefore you'll be able to enjoy the journey much more I think as for me journey comes before the destination and the skills you learn along the way for example me whilst training for a marathon the things I learn along the way are much more important than completing the marathon altogether at the end. As with everything in life running has its highs as well as lows and not everyone will be your best friend and learning to understand that can be applied to other areas of your life one day will not be as good as the next realizing that extreme persistence builds you as a person overall and this feeling it's something that you're gonna have to learn to overcome those days that you don't feel like doing anything and feel unmotivated that's the peak moment you need to learn to overcome when you realize that you kind of forget about the motivation aspect that I'm just not feeling up motivated today or whatever and understanding to make that difference over time you need to commit every single day and with that consistency you're able to build persistence 
not only with your running, but in any project that you put yourself towards. And therefore, learning to be consistent is much better than learning to be motivated. Everybody has those days where they feel tired, unmotivated, but the people who are able to make it to the other side of that and complete their tasks anyway are the ones that will see the most improvement in their life and hopefully happiness in that they are able to complete everything they set, set to achieve from themselves. And they understand that that feeling of unmotivation is only temporary and after all the, the pain through doing those tasks or whatever, there is a brighter side on the other side. And for example, after a run, even if you're feeling unmotivated before a run, after the run, you always feel better. There is, <clears throat> there is no better feeling doing a run that you, feel, you felt like you didn't want to do and then completing at the end and proving to yourself that you can do it. And that feeling comes from commitment and a sense of purpose in your runs. Any particular run that you do has absolutely no effect on your overall fitness or any step towards the final destination. The same way as going to the gym one specific day has no effect on how much muscle you have or reading something over any one time has no effect on if you're gonna if you're gonna remember it and has no therefore have no effect on the final destination. However, putting yourself in the deep end and doing the run after run going to the gym again and again and reading something over and seeing if you can remember it over time that's when you see the real difference and therefore that's what will get you the actual results and having that choice in front of myself every day it, meaning do I want to run when I have a specific schedule to follow show me that that decision making applies to other areas of my life for example I need to edit this video or plan the next video or plan a meet up with my friends or whatever. By having that persistence from running, I was able to translate that to other areas of my life. And even if things aren't going exactly to plan, I'm able to adjust to those situations. I know what I, what I can do myself and what to expect from myself and therefore I'm able to adjust to that the right level. And therefore running teaches you to be tough in all areas of your life through that persistence and knowing that every day won't be your best day and focusing on what went wrong and just looking forward that the next run will be better as you have runs where you feel amazing and you want to keep going but understanding to take that step back and saving some of that energy for the next day and having the kind of the thoughts at the back of your head when you're doing a bad run for example and you don't feel too good that this is only one step backward to then takes two steps forward and therefore this running has taught me how to learn from my mistakes in other areas of my life therefore how to keep going even if things don't work out one day the experience someone has in running is obviously different for everyone but what i can guarantee is that it will make a difference to your life even if you run once and or a few times and you don't feel like it's for you or on the other on the other side of the scale you run for the rest of your life i can guarantee that you will learn something from it um, hopefully as I have and that would put you on the way to join the community of runners and maybe even run with me one day and even apart from all the mental pre preparation and things you can live link to other areas of life it just sets you on a really good <clears throat> really good path of healthy lifestyle and living so if you're already a runner or someone who's just starting out and wants some one-to-one -one advice Make sure to message me, comment down below, leave a like. Yeah, we'll see what we can do together to get you into the groove and start things out. So with that, just want to say thank you for watching. So I know this has been a bit of a different video. So let me know what you think and if you want more of kind of this talky kind of stuff and the things I've learned along the way. So make sure to drop a, a sub. I see most of you unsubscribed. I see you. I see you people. Yeah, come on now. Drop a sub. Don't be rude, I see you watching. Uh, yeah, and with that, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a good day and cheerio. You are rolling. All right, Patrick, what have you got to say for yourself? What are you looking for? Oi.